Check it to do round two. Um, got a little Star Wars Battlefront 2 <laughs> on the Xbox, not the PS2 footage. Uh, I put uh, uh, so the old school Battlefront with the new school at the end, uh, just uh, just to kind of show, I guess, like a comparison. You know what I'm saying? I've been playing. You know what I'm saying? When I was when I played Battlefront 2 back in the day, like changed my life. And uh, they never, uh, never forgot it. You know, I was thinking about Battlefront 2 for the next 20 years. Uh, so we can kind of get into it. Back to injections, injections. And I got a little, uh, uh, what's it called? A little lesson uh, to that's uh, kind of uh, the last one I was talking about. Uh, you know how the devil comes to play. And I kind of wanted to, once you come into agreement, once you open that door to the devil, he'll, he'll, he'll come right in. Um, and then today I wanted to talk about, there's a, a kind of a, uh, there's a, a little passage in Colossians that really kind of, uh, um, this gun is terrible, but, uh, that kind of, uh, not goes against it. I just, it, it, it shows you, it tells you that. Jesus closes that door. That's that's a good way to put it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get into it. Open your Bibles. Uh, so this is uh, Colossians 2, um, 12. And I'll read a couple. It's talking about Jesus. But uh, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God. Who hath raised him from the dead, and you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing, triumphing over them in it. Wow. For whatever reason, when I read out loud, I get a little, like, saliva thing going on. I don't really know why. Um, so, yeah, basically, if we go back to verse, this is Colossians 2 and 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. You know, ordinances is like a spiritual, um, it's a spiritual word. Um, it's talking like authority. Um it's, I guess, like another word for, uh, like, a hierarchy. Um, I mean, and that's kind of my uh, layman, layman's term way to put it. Um, like I, I've said, I'm not a theologian. I'm not a scholar. I'm not a, I don't have a degree in theology or anything like that. I uh, just read my Bible and believe in Christ Jesus. Um, and, and speak with the Spirit and let the Holy Spirit speak. Um, Jesus said, when they deliver you up, think not what you will speak on. For whatever you speak in that hour will be given to you, and it's not you, it's the Holy Spirit. Um, that's like a paraphrase. Um, and by the way, one thing you'll notice with this this gameplay, is games, gaming, is I am not a, a, a world-class professional gamer. And, you know, I'm not... Uh, I'm not trying to, uh, yeah, like I said last video, this isn't about walkthroughs, and I'm not trying to, I'm not running out to get the latest anything or get the super collectors, you know, all the DLCs and this and that. You know, I have some of that stuff, but uh, like I just got all the, the last like three Terminator or not, uh, uh, Tomb Raiders, um, and I got like the 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 pack, the trilogy with all the deluxe stuff, all the DLC. So I did with that. I'm just saying that's not what this is about. <laughs> this part makes me laugh because I I get totally pooched but uh, I remember there's a bonus where you choose the um, you can put a turret like it like like that like that is and I remember I got that from my my team and I was like oh that's really cool I didn't think the enemy team would have the same thing and I just lost lost that um, so uh, so yeah I was talking about uh, you know how, how, how I opened the door uh, to the devil um, and Jesus closed the door, um, and uh, so I'm going to. The, it goes on to the next uh, 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 footage, but um, uh, and I freaking I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to lose this, lose this little battle as well. Um, 
So, I mean, and for me, the biggest example is uh, children. Um, you know, back in my running around, running around with women days, you know, I had a f- several, you know, plan B, you know, type of situations, um, uh, fall damage. But uh, so, you know, that was like a, a, a moment, a time of, you know, giving the devil my children. Um, you know, obviously, I'm a little old school now, you know, sex is for kids. You know what I mean? Um, and sex is between a man and his wife. So, um, essentially, you know, gave the, you know, gave the devil my kids. And then fast forward, I had multiple women have, uh, lose our children. Um, uh, I, I, I watch this though. Watch this. It's, what we got here? Boom. Uh, little vict, little, 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 little slight victory, but um, so you know, in multiple miscarriages with my ex-wife, um, and just choosing um, well, you know, just like, 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 like having let the devil in, giving him, like I said, giving him my kids, and uh, he was taking them. But now that, you know, with Jesus, I look forward to children. I know that door is uh, truly open. Um, and I definitely, uh, I was talking to a sister in Christ recently. She was like, you're going to be a daddy soon. I was like, hey, you know, I come into agreement with that for sure. Uh, you know, I have such, me, like I said, losing children. Um, and then now being with Jesus it makes me appreciate children that much more. And I definitely, I don't want to say envy but I definitely see others with children and think, man, how, uh, what's it called? How blessed are they to, you know, have kids? You know what I'm saying? Not to say that having children is easy, um, but just being able, to, being able to, for one, to teach somebody about Jesus and raise them in a in a godly way. Uh, and not that everyone does that, but um, it's definitely something that I would love to do. Um, and and I, I see that other people are, are blessed to be able to do that. And unfortunately, you know, I see I've got a little breakfast club victory right here. Boom. <laughs> but uh, I definitely, uh, you know, I see others, you know, not really taking the opportunities to raise their kids and children in a godly way, a Christ-like way. And uh, it's definitely something that I look forward to being able to do myself. Uh, and so basically... Um, this uh, this is my second or my third time I think actually recording this, but it's it ended up being shorter than the other couple of times, but that's fine. So essentially, what I was trying to say is, you know, once you get with Jesus, it, it ceases the plans of the devil, especially or at least if you stay um, on the on the path, the narrow path that few find. Jesus spoke of, and I know that I've found. I'm blessed to have found the narrow path. Um, and, and it's it, it is not easy to stay on it. Um, it takes prayer and you know uh, a revel, you know revelation. Uh, uh, God gives me dreams quite consistently, and I ask for dreams. I say God instruct me. You know, I say the Bible says the righteous man's steps are ordered by God, and this Bible says that the the Lord is a lamp unto our feet. So the way I see it is every step, every step you take should should uh take it to God, you know what I'm saying? Or, or ask God, you know, our Lord, I don't even want to take a step that's not ordained by you. Um so uh I'll be back soon. Come back and see me. In the name of Jesus, amen, hallelujah. <laughs>